We also have new leads in the Kristen Smart case. She's the Cal Poly student who had disappeared in 1996. Authorities have served four search warrants in California and the state of Washington related to her disappearance. Reporter Lena Howland joins us live from San Luis Obispo County. One of the places searched yesterday was where, Lena? Well, we are in San Luis Obispo County right now, outside of one of the four locations that was searched by law enforcement officials yesterday morning. As you can see behind me here, that search has since been completed. The scene is clear and the tape is now gone, but it was a much different story all day long yesterday as this scene was buzzing with quite a bit of excitement. Multiple news crews on scene, law enforcement officials, and a lot of curious people driving by, stopping to take photos of everything that was going on. The house belongs to the mother of Paul Flores. Investigators say he is the last person Kristen Smart was seen with before she went missing. And he has been a person of interest in this case for 24 years now. I checked with the San Luis Obispo Sheriff's Office and they say they were able to locate multiple items of evidence in their four searches. They didn't say what they found, how much they found, or where they found it, but they did say it's all being taken into their labs to be analyzed. Attention has been put back onto this case because of a popular podcast called Your Own Backyard, which has helped generate new leads in this decades old case. There is um, speculation that that's where her body was at one point or if now buried. And so um, I believe, you know, if you listen to the podcast, you can hear that the searches with cadaver dogs weren't as thorough as they maybe should have been. Multiple people told us a lot of questions still remain about this home, specifically because they believe this backyard was never fully excavated. Now, as we were out here yesterday gathering our elements for this story, we noticed quite a few people as they were driving by, not only just honking, but they were physically rolling down their windows, yelling out the words, dig up the backyard as they passed by this now infamous home. Back to you. All right, 635. Thank you very much. Lena Howland in San Luis Obispo early this morning.